Chapter 5 will detail the preparation, assembly, painting, and decaling the components of the chassis interior for the U.S. version of the Porsche 911 Carrera model build we are doing. Using a number 60 drill bit, I am drilling the two holes in the floor for the gas, brake, and clutch assembly, which is one part. Be sure to drill the two leftmost holes for the U.S. version. I am using Plastruck plastic weld to cement the back panels onto the back seat and then the back panels onto the two front seats. I am using the Plastruck cement as I personally like that better than the Tamiya Thin Cement. Plastruck cement is designed specifically for polystyrene parts. Set these aside to dry. It doesn't take very long. Although the pictures on page 12 of the Revell instruction booklet calls out for a red interior, my research revealed that the U.S. version with the guard's red exterior color had a black interior. We noted that the front and rear seats had a high gloss finish, while the floor, sides, and headliner had a matte finish. Thus. TCP-010 Gloss Black is being painted on the rear seat and the dashboard. Note I am using a stock 2 ounce bottle of the Gloss Black for this operation fitted with a Badger adapter since we use a lot of this particular color. As I have mentioned many times in previous videos, I am spraying at 30 PSI using a 0.5 millimeter or medium tip on a Vega 2000 airbrush. Continuing with Gloss Black TCP-010, I am spraying both front seats, the add-on rear seat, the steering column, which also has the wiper and turn signal controls attached, and several other parts which have to be gloss black. I don't understand the purpose of the add-on rear seat, but I'm adding it anyway. TCP-433 Matte Black, which is designed specifically to be airbrushed and dried to a matte finish, is being sprayed on the floor and the sides of the chassis interior. 
This is a very interesting kit. Note, the U.S. version of the Porsche 911 Carrera will be painted guards red on the exterior and the interior is all black according to my research. I snapped the add-on rear seat into the rear seat section. This folds down. Don't know the purpose of it. Now I am hand painting metallic iron TCP 397 onto the tabs of the rear seat. These tabs will attach to the body later in the build. Cement the gas pedal, brake, clutch part into the floor. I use CA for the adhesive. Hold in place so it appears to be a correct distance from the chassis as Ravel has not given any indication of how far this part should be from the back of the flooring. We are now doing the decal application on the parts used in the interior of the chassis. Note that the decal sheet is well made. The decals easily slide off the backing paper after just a few seconds being immersed in warm water. The gear shift knob decal was the first one chosen to add. The gear shift knob decal was the first one chosen to add. This decal is extremely tiny, so be aware it is easy to lose when putting it on the top of the knob. Let stand a few minutes before using Walther's Salvaset to set the decal in place. Now apply the decal onto the console. Note that the printing of the console decal sheet is very crisp. I use Walther Salvaset to set decals in place when I can. It is a strong setting solution, so you should test your decals first before using. Some manufacturers' decals, mostly Japanese manufacturers, actually dissolve with Walther Salvaset. Ravel chose to use decals on the side panels to represent door opening handles, window handles, armrests, and other items rather than mold them in place. There are four decals to place on each side panel, so follow the diagrams on page 13 of the instruction booklet carefully for placement on each side. Remember, there is a left and a right side panel, so place the right decal number shown on the diagram on the parts. Use a sponge to squeeze out excess water, and then use Walther's Salvaset to secure the decals in place.
Placing the name Porsche on the floor of the chassis is an option I chose to use on the US model we are building. Note it goes on both sides, passenger and driver side. If you have any questions about techniques explored in this video or general questions about this build, please post your questions in the comments section below.